the lecture is about, is about chemistry. My name is Professor Amos Ifeodu Akewandi, the Dean of the College of Basic and Applied Sciences of this great university. One, you can say biochemistry is a branch of science concerned with chemical, physiochemical processes and substances which occur within the mineral organisms. You can also define it as science dealing with the chemistry of living matter. It can be defined as chemistry that deals with the chemical compounds and process occurring in organisms. You can also define it as the study of chemical processes within and related to living organisms. And finally, the study of chemical processes occurring in living matter. So any of those five definitions would be more appropriate. Now, what is the philosophy? We are here to have your experience in honors in biochemistry. What is the philosophy of that degree? What is the aim? What are the objectives of having that degree? Now, what we want our students to provide our students with a broad and balanced foundation in biochemical knowledge and practical skills. You have the knowledge and the skill in biochemistry you want to incorporate with all our students. Then secondly, we want to develop the, the student the ability to apply knowledge and skill in solving theoretical and practical problems in biochemistry. You are not only having the knowledge, having taught you the knowledge, having given you all the information, and then trained you to have the skill. You should be able to apply that knowledge and skill in solving problems in biochemistry. And thirdly, to develop a student a range of transferable skills that are available in biochemical and non-biochemical environment. In other words, when you have all these skills, if you want to work in biochemical uh, area, of course, you should be able to use your knowledge and your skill. Then, in some areas that are non-biochemical, I've mentioned the area of the bank, for instance, a biochemist working in the bank, a biochemist working as a soldier, a biochemist working as a police, all those are not biochemical areas, but because of the knowledge and skill you have acquired, you will be able to function in all these areas. I use the cell as an example. I said the cell in the body is the most organized, simply because there are different organelles in the cell, and each organelle performs specific function. We talk about the area of the nucleus, I mean, being the genetic center, the mitochondria provide, uh, providing all the energy in the form of ATP, then all the other areas. So it is, we are giving you all this skill, we are giving you all this knowledge so that you can apply it, both in biochemical and non-biochemical areas. And then we want to provide our students with the skill and knowledge based from which you proceed in further studies in specialized areas in biochemistry and multidisciplinary areas involving biochemistry. I've mentioned it. You have this degree. This is BSc Honors Biochemistry. You go further into MSc degree, MPhil, PhD. And even after your BSc, you might decide, I want to go into medicine. They take you to the university to direct entry to go and do your MBBS. You can go to other programs. But your basic knowledge of biochemistry will be very useful in that area. So we are training you. Some of you may decide to do that. And finally, to provide through training and orientation and appreciation of the solutory rewards of inter and multidisciplinary approach to the solution of complex life. You know, complex life problems. You cannot do it alone as a biochemist. You have to interact with other people. You have to work with other people. So the skills that you have. The way mitochondria is reacting with a nucleus that is working in the microscopes, with the endoplasmic reticulum, the membrane, you know, they are working together to solve problems. You can see the membrane, the cell membrane. If it doesn't allow nutrients to get into the cell, of course, the cell cannot survive. Even when products, uh, bad products are produced, the waste, if the cell membrane doesn't allow the waste to go out, of course, the cell will die. 
the waste will poison the cell and the cell will die. So both the cell membrane, the mitochondria, the nucleus, aeroplasm, reticulum, all of them are working together for the survival of the cell. Now we also want to uh, to generate to generate a student an appreciation of the importance of biochemistry in industrial economy, environmental, technological and social development as a biochemist. You can work in the industry. Any industry as a biochemist. For instance, people who are making drugs, the number of tablets and all those the number of biochemistry, the biochemists that are working in this area. Other industry, industrial research, further industrial research, there are many biochemists there. As a matter of fact, they are director general. Eh? Eh, Professor Lemon, Professor Mr. Lemon is a biochemist. So you can work in the industry, you can work in the institution. In the economy, I've mentioned it, some of you can work in the bank as a biochemist because your knowledge that you have gained, you know, putting things together, interaction and so on, you put people together. In addition, in the environmental situation, our environment, the core solution to have a clean environment is to have our chemists. I'm, using, I'm giving you an example of the data, the pollution of oil in the data state. If you say you want to remove the oil that pollutes the water, you spend years, you want to be taking it little by little. But the best way to do is to use microbes. Microbes that will mop up all the soil, I mean all the water, or the, all the oil and the water. The microbes will mop it up. So that's the environment to have a clean environment. So you will know about that. And also, you know the WHO will continue to say, if you cut one tree, what do they say you should do? You plant two. Cut one, plant two. And the reason why they are saying it, now we are talking, we are saying uh, our weather is, has changed. Eh? Weather has changed, this has changed, because many of people have cut all the trees. As we cut the tree, our God is wonderful. He made man, he made trees. What do trees produce? Oxygen. Only photosynthesis. What do they produce? Oxygen. And what do they what do plants take in? Carbon dioxide. Who produce carbon dioxide? Animals. Animal house who produce carbon dioxide for the trees to use. And trees produce oxygen for us to use. So if you cut all the trees in your environment, you are killing yourself. What do you produce oxygen for you? Now, if you go to the hospitals today, especially this hospital that I know of, a lot of the people that come there are the people who live in Moshi, Ajegule, and all those places. You see, many of the children that are brought there, because most of the trees in Ajegule, they are caught, they are already removed. In Moshi, they are already removed. So they are producing a lot of carbon dioxide, that the area is loaded with carbon dioxide. No trees to pump them up. If you live, see people living in the reserve area, the reservation area, in Menti, you surrounded by trees, flowers, and all that. All the also the carbon dioxide you send out, the trees will mop them up. And you will use the oxygen that they give. So the environment is very important, it's terminated. You know how this knowledge and as biochemists, I always tell my students as I teach. In your houses, you must have flowers. You must have trees, plant trees, plant flowers around you. If you go to my house, I have a garden surrounding my house. Trees, flowers, all over the place. So that I don't get sick and my family doesn't get sick. So you too can do the same. And finally, so instill in student a sense of exercise in biochemistry and appreciation of its application in different contexts. And involve them and intellectually stimulating and satisfying experience of learning and study. So I'm telling you this so that you'll be interested in biochemistry. As I said, biochemistry is a good subject, easy to memorize, easy to understand, easy to know. And you can make use of it for your personal life. You understand? It's not, I don't believe students just study, memorizing, and passing getting the degree. Whatever you learn here, you will be able to apply it to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And I've given you examples earlier, many examples I've given you. 
I will repeat one again. Knowledge about chemistry, if you are a woman and you have knowledge about chemistry, you will be aware of good nutrients, that you need nutrients. What are the nutrients that you need? You need protein, you need carbohydrate, you need vitamins, you need minerals. All those ones you need. So when you are preparing the food, the menu, for your family, you will make sure you include all this, right? So that is the beauty of it. Yes, let's go on. Now, during the degree training, you are going to develop specific skills. When we are training you, you will develop some specific skills. And we'll make sure you do that. One, a full and critical understanding of relevant texts. You will understand whatever we are teaching. Uh, I went to Guinea recently, about two weeks ago, where they are vice chancellor from Sabrina, because Monty is born. And the vice chancellor there, deputy vice chancellor said, well, in Unilag, all they have been doing is teaching. All they are doing there is just teaching their students that they want to change that. Because when they teach the student, they give their information, and what the student do during the exam, they give them back the information they give them, and they pass, they get their degree. If after the degree, you ask them anything, they are blank. So what they want to do now in Union Life is learning. They are changing from teaching to learning. But right now we have just started our own, we are starting with learning. And we supplement it with teaching. When you learn something, you won't forget. You understand? It will stay with you longer than just read the book, memorize it. I ask questions, you give me back, I mark it, you pass and you go. No, you will learn it and then you apply it to yourself. Then the ability to assemble an argument and engage in debate. If you are about chemists, you will be confident, just like I am confident. I can speak anywhere because I'm sure of myself. The knowledge I've gained as a biochemist, undergraduate, postgraduate, about biochemistry, the organization, the, self, the system, how they relate to each other, that gives me that confidence. So you too will develop that confidence. You can talk anywhere. You can engage in any topic because you have your facts within yourself. Then you have uh, critical and analytical skills. Critical and analytical skills. Now, at the 400 level, you will do project. You do your project. You give seminars. We come, we tell you to come and give seminars. If you see some people when they are giving seminar, if they face a large number of people, you see them shaking. You know, but we will train you to have confidence so that we feel the audience. When I was doing, when I was being trained, what my professor was telling me, when you are talking to a large number of people, don't look at their face, look about their heads. You understand? Although they will think you are looking at them, you are not. You are looking above them. You see? So, so that when you see somebody, it will make you nervous. So all those things, technique, will teach you and you'll be able to uh, analyze all these things in any debate. And then your analytical skills. And what does that mean, analytical skills? You read books, you read literature, you read stories. Now, how do you analyze it to solve your problems? You are doing a research and you have the skill now, you will analyze. So people will tell you two plus two. It's not four, it's two. And they will tell you it's two. So people will tell you one plus one is one. But you argue with them that it's two. They will tell you it's one. And they will prove it. That's the analytical skill. You understand? You see, for the analysis, two plus two in arithmetic is four. But when you write two and you impose two on it, what do you get? Two. It's not four. You understand? And one, when you say one plus one, in the same way, the Bible says what? When the two are married, the two become one flesh. You understand? So one plus one is one. So your argument, you be able to say all these things and you support whatever you have. I don't want you to, we don't, I mean, we will train you. You won't be a person that says, if you can't beat them, join them. No, you won't join bad things. You have your own issues. You stand on your own and you'll be able to prove, yes, 
This is my answer, and I stand by it. And then the joy, the very day thinking, and problem solving. If there are problems to be solved, yes, you will think and solve. Yes, let's go. Now you work as teamwork, communication, presentation, and IT skill. Industrial training. I told you, you work with other people. You won't work alone. Okay? You are not working alone. You work with other people. So, therefore, but your confidence is there. Then self management and capacity to lead your own professional development, professorial development. So, when you are put in charge, you'll be able to function and you'll be able to lead. And you may go to further your study to MSc, MFE, PhD degrees. I've mentioned that. Then, laboratory based work, final research work, project, and industrial placement in your sideways. Prepare students for research or technical position. All the practicals you are doing in class, all the dimension, your equipment, and all those things, you familiarize with it. So, you are putting yourself in position. When you go for sideways, industrial training, also, you are doing that, you develop interest in doing the work. Now, Let's look at different areas of biochemistry, the scope and different areas of biochemistry. As I've told you, we use the cell as a living example to understand the functionality and living tissue, cells, organs, and the entire living system. The basic thing is the cell, okay? Then from the cell, you go to tissue. From the tissue, go back a little bit. From the tissue, you go to organs. From organs, you go to your entire body system. You have to look at the whole thing. All this deals with the chemistry of life. We are tell, telling about chemistry of life. Let's go on. Let's look at the different areas of chemistry now. So there are many areas of chemistry, so many. And we will specialize in specific areas as time goes on. But as you start, you will know every area. Finally, you specialize, like me. I'm a nutritional biochemist, okay? That's where I specialize in. So you have chemistry and metabolism of carbohydrates, chemistry and metabolism of lipids or fat, chemistry and metabolism of proteins, amino acids, chemistry of metabolism of nucleic acid. You have bioenergetics, biosynthesis of micromolecules, membrane biochemistry, bioinorganic chemistry. There's no problem. Food and nutritional biochemistry, specialized topics in biochemistry, microbial genetics and molecular biology, seminar in biochemistry, enzymology, biochemical reasoning, tissue and organ biochemistry, advanced biochemistry methods, biotechnology genetic engineering, and research projects. All these areas you will go through to make you a solid biochemist. Let's go. Then we have metabolic regulation. You see, all the metabolic process going within you. How is it regulated? That's why I told you before. I was telling you, they will tell you the system in you, how it operates. The regulatory system. Then student industrial work experience, sideways, plant biochemistry, entrepreneurial skill, hormones, clinical biochemistry, immunology, industrial biochemistry, pharmaceutical chemistry. Those are the areas of biochemistry you will go through. And eventually, you will specialize in one area. Yeah, let's go. Now, we we'll say, okay, after I get this degree, what do I do? What, what will I do with my degree? Well, when you graduate, it opens you to a larger of skilled careers and a comprehensive of both biology and medicine. Many areas expose you to that, yes? Now, you can take jobs directly related to degree in biochemistry, which includes analytical chemists, you can be an analytical chemist, you can be a biomedical scientist, a clinical research associate, healthcare scientist, clinical biochemistry, forensic scientist, go on. You can be a research scientist, physician associate, technologist, science laboratory technician, health and safety inspector, quality manager, Science writer and housewife. You can, as a biochemist, you will be a good housewife. My wife is a good cook. Eh? You know, these days, 
people get married that within a short time the wedding is dissolved. You know why? Because the wife doesn't know how to cook. All the time they go to Mr. B to buy food. All the that they want, she knows how to prepare. And when the when the husband is working, his friends will take him to joints, they will eat well, eat chipping and all that. When he gets to him and they say food is ready, he say, I'm sorry, I'm full of. I'm full of you understand? Uh -huh. So but well, if I cook my chemist, you be a good housewife. You know the thing that your husband wants. You do well. When you want to cook, when you want to prepare your food, you know what you will do? First of all, you put an appetizer. That's what my wife does. The appetizer can be from the soup, you know. You take some soup first. That will open your body. All the intestine, your enzymes, you stimulate all of them. And then they bring the main course. The main course will be a combination of foods that will contain protein, uh, vitamins, minerals, and all those things, so that you get all the essential nutrients. You understand? And finally, after you take it, the main course now you relax, you take your dessert. And so, so that's the way it will be. But for a where to prepare about water, soup, that's no food. You understand? But if you're a good balcanist, and you know the, the importance of uh, balcanist, you will be uh, good.